update on how I'm doing on my 50 days of slay challenge. It's a challenge for me to keep up my habits during the holiday season. I started November 1st and right now it is November 27th. But first, I'm going to put a list here of all of the habits that I wanted to sustain during this time period. And that is drinking 64 ounces of water daily and exercise five workouts a week and two rest days, eating at home five to seven days a week, alcohol only socially meaning when I'm around other people and then taking a progress photo, photo the first day and then the last day of the challenge and then for mental health I did a daily journaling and I'm doing something called morning pages where I write three pages a day and then for fun I'm reading fiction daily. I did want to share with you my beginning progress photo video so I'm going to put it right here. I honestly wasn't doing this challenge to make any type of physical change again it's only for me to stick to my habits but I thought it was fun just to share I ended up sharing it on TikTok but I ended up then deleting my TikTok permanently I honestly I think part of the challenge was that because I was reading fiction because I was doing all of these other things I was feeling so good that I didn't really want to get on TikTok TikTok was only making me feel worse so I deleted it. I'm gonna put here a screenshot of my little daily habit tracker. I just created this on Google Sheets and I have it available to download if you want to do a 50 days of slay. I think this is just a more sustainable version of 75 hard, 75 soft. So this is the habit tracker and I did so well with my water intake. I only have up to day 26 tracked but I've basically from day one to day 26, I drank 64 ounces of water. For exercise, I was doing five workouts a week. I did amazing on this, except for this past week during Thanksgiving, I ended up working out like three good workouts and then kind of like a active recovery day workout. So I only worked out four out of the five days that I needed to, but overall that's pretty great I've worked out 17 out of the 26 days, which is pretty good. And then for eating at home, same thing. I have been eating at home five out of the seven days a week and I killed it. I've eaten at home. I've eaten at home 18 times out of the 26 days but remember it's five out of seven so that's really good and then for drinking alcohol only socially I've had two events one of them was going out with friends to an escape room and then the other one was an event for Friendsgiving. So those two events I did drink and I only had one drink which I'm so proud of myself and other than that I haven't drank. I'm gonna be honest on the 26th which is yesterday I really wanted a glass of wine but I said no I'm not gonna do it so I didn't do it. And then for mental health journaling I did really good. I think in total I only did 24 out of the 26 days so far because the 24th and 25th I just completely forgot I just got so busy I had family over and so that just what is what happened and then for reading fiction daily I've been reading every single day it's so much fun I've read so many books what did I read I've been reading this series called the perfect series and I think I'm on book five at this point currently I'm reading the naturals series which is I'm like excited about it. I feel like it's kind of the same to the perfect series where it's like a criminal profiler. So really enjoying those. I also read Dial A Auntie. I haven't read the whole series. So I know there's another book, but I've only read the first book and that was really nice. That was a really cool book. So yeah, now towards the next half of December, I'm going to try to read less of the thriller books and more of like Christmas books. So I have a couple of Christmas books on my Libby app that I'm going to download to read. And then for... And see what else that's it that's it i will say a the one of the things that i've noticed is that i'm spending less money on like we're spending less money on date nights because we used to go on to a restaurant and then get a couple of drinks and so we're not doing that so we're saving money we're also saving money on our fast food budget we have a budget of i think it's like 80 to 50 dollars for fast food for the whole month and we haven't really touched it as much as we 
would, you know. But yeah, those are all of the updates for the habits. I wanted to take some time to actually review my 2023 goals and see what I have accomplished. Here are my 2023 goals goals and during the midway point I actually accomplished a few of them so I've already kind of checked them off but I'm gonna go over them with you I have that I gain 10k subscribers on YouTube that didn't happen but that is okay I was looking at my YouTube studio analytics and I started my channel in 2022 and I had grown it to 1836 I believe and then for 2023, I would have gained another additional 1,100 subscribers. So I'll be at 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I'm proud of that. Like, I think that is such a great accomplishment. I'm still trying to figure out things, trying to get better at editing. And I hope that in 2024, I really do thrive in this space. And then the other goal is to learn, let's gonna spread this out so you can see it, is to, I learn and understand more about nutrition and what works best for my body. So I actually, started working with a nutrition around July but then I stopped going with them around September because I just didn't think it was the right fit I honestly just didn't really enjoy as much working with her but I one of the things that we focused on was like fear around food there was like specific things that gave me anxiety to eat and I think that she really did help me in that regard but as far as like personality I don't think that we clicked so I feel like I still have a lot to learn and understand more about nutrition I still feel like I don't know what works best for my body and I'm still learning that so I'm not going to put that I accomplished this but it might be something that maybe in the new year I you know may add to my 2024 goals I traveled to Italy. It has been a dream of mine to go to Italy. And we did this in September. It was so much fun. It was right around the time where I turned 30. So I turned 30 in August and we had our trip in September. So I'm just excited to be in my 30 girl era and just to travel and just really enjoy the time that maybe my 20s I, I didn't really get to. I am a very a high overachiever and I feel like I took my 20s and just did so much but at this at the detriment of not like enjoying things in my life. So I really want to continue to travel and that was one of the things that I accomplished. The next one is I start my next financial goal, whether that be investing, um, starting my IRA or house saving, pay off student loans. So I already have an investment account from when I used to work at 9 to 5, um, but I, I hadn't started to put money away from being a business owner. I started being a business owner um, in 2021. So 2023, I'm glad now that we're very stable in the business that we can start putting money towards retirement. And so also we've really saved for a house too. So we're excited. We wanted to do that this year, but with interest rates being so high, it just didn't feel like the right financial move for us. So I, I, I did start it. So that's the, all this to say, I did start this off. I increased my therapy rates. I did. I actually increased my therapy rates every year. Um, I was a little nervous every year. I'm always nervous every year to increase them, right? Um, but I increased them this year and I'm really proud of that. I take more photos. I feel because of the nature of YouTube, you just have to take more photos for like thumbnails and stuff. Uh, so I love that YouTube also encourages me to do this. But I've also been more mindful of just taking photos like when we had Friendsgiving, like being making sure I get a group photo when we're doing things like making sure we get photos because I just always felt super self-conscious about my body and blah, blah 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 you know all that stuff and I just wanted to take more photos and I did this year and I'm really proud of myself for getting out of getting out of my own head I continue the habit of working out four times a week yeah you know some days I'll you know some weeks will be three out of a week but I am more about showing up than making it a, a like, oh, I need to work out five out of the seven days a week for 45 minutes. That not is not always sustainable based on the season you're at in life. But I love working out. I love being able to move my body. And yeah, I've accomplished that. I get a paid speaking engagement. I think I got three this year. So I was really proud of that. And I'm, I'm glad that it, I, I did it. 
I am actually going to speak in a membership community in December. So I'm really excited for that as well. I started a new hobby. I I feel like I started painting by numbers. I don't feel like I've stuck with it as much, but I've read more and I feel like that is also a hobby. I don't know. I'm going to give it to myself, but I, I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like a hobby should be something that you do all the time. Reading for sure I've done all the time. Painting by numbers or I, I think this one was meant to be a scrapbook, but I just couldn't do it with the scrapbook. So it's okay. We're still learning, but we're going to give it to myself. I make intentional time with friends at least once a month. I've done that. I feel like I've been very intentional about asking friends to hang out, to make time. I think sometimes I do get in my feels because I, I feel like I'm all up. I'm the one reaching out, but I also know that, that I'm the one that wants to make this intentional. So I, that, that always goes in the back of my head. Like, okay, yeah, you may be the one reaching out or making plans, but at least you're filling your cup. Like you're, you're hanging out. You're, you're, you're trying to be intentional about the relationships. And to be honest, there are some relationships where I've kind of not reached out because I don't want to invest time on that relationship because I'm giving what, what I'm getting. Right. And that's totally okay. It doesn't mean to dig on my friend or anything. It just means like, Hey, we're, we're both busy or we're both doing things and that's okay. I feel confident in the body and empowered to wear the clothes that I love. I do feel like I wear more clothes that I would not wear back in 2021, 2022 even. I wouldn't even wear jeans because I was so self-conscious about it. And now I do. So proud of that. Accomplished. And then I work with a brand on my manifestation list. I've worked on several brands on my manifestation list, which I'm really proud of. I've had some really great opportunities to work with brands and I didn't think that just starting off like a year on, in into YouTube, I think now I'm in a year and a half into YouTube, that that would happen. So that was really good. So those are all the goals. I feel like I, I know I had a, a lot of goals, but I feel like I achieved most of them. The ones at least that mattered to me the most. So yeah, I, I, I'm glad there's so, so there's a total of 12 goals and I reached 10 out of the 12. So that is pretty sweet. I'm really proud of myself. So that means that December, I'm not setting any new goals because we are sticking to the 50 days of slay challenge. I'm so excited to tell you how all that turns out. Maybe we'll see some like physical changes. I really already feel like what financial changes I already feel just like mindset changes. The fact that I ended up deleting my TikTok, which guys, I had 8,000 followers on TikTok. I'd been working on building that audience. And I just said, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not sticking with it. Um, it is not great for my mental health. And not to say that it is not great for everybody else's mental health, but I just couldn't hack it. So that's just me. But that is, that is it. Um, I will say I am still thinking about starting a 12 week year January 1st. If you haven't seen my 12 week year series, go ahead and check out the playlist. You'll get to kind of see how I started at the beginning of the year and like the goals that I accomplished. But yeah, like I'm still thinking about the 12 week year because I know you guys want it. So if you really want it, comment down below and say like, yes, like we want the 12 week year, like we want more goal setting stuff and I, or habit stuff. And I will make those videos. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.